In just days, Iowa families will be able to get a vaccine appointment for their kids ages 5 to 11. This is a big moment in the fight against coronavirus. In this moment, we want to arm you with the most information from the most trusted voices in the medical field about the COVID-19 shot for your child. Joining us tonight is Dr. Ashlesha Kaushik, a specialist in pediatric infectious diseases with the Iowa Medical Society. Doctor, we want to thank you so much for being here this evening. Thank you. First off, the big question for so many parents, is this Pfizer vaccine set for approval from the CDC? Is it safe for children? Yes, um, so far the data that has been presented to the FDA certainly shows that it's a very safe and effective vaccine. Um, in over 2000 children analyzed uh, for over more than, uh, you know, about three months. Um, they found very, very rare side effects, you know, just the normal side effects, the common ones like pain at the injection site and stuff like that. But uh, really the rare side effects of heart inflammation or the, you know, the scary side effect that has not been seen in this cohort of, um, you know, volunteers. And some parents might think this process was rushed and there isn't enough long term research about the effect of the shots on kids. What do you say to those concerns? Right. I mean, um, in an emergency situation like this, like we have never faced a pandemic like this. This has been an unprecedented time for all of us. And I don't think it's a rushed process because we do have many checks and balances in place. The FDA, which is, you know, the highest regulating authority and it's highly respected around the world, like that won't, um, you know, approve anything like that lightly, you know. And there is some thinking out there still among families with young children that they don't need to get their kids vaccinated because children don't get the virus as often as adults. But why is it still important for this group of young children right now to get the shot? What's your message to parents? Right. So initially, that was the initial thought, you know, and, you know, last year that was probably the case. But this year with the Delta variant, you know, the highly, highly contagious coronavirus variant, which is circulating in the United States and most of the world right now, we cannot say that, you know, we have to. Um, I mean, the facts and the data show us that children are getting hospitalized and children are getting infected almost at the same rate as adults. Doctor, thank you so much for your time this evening, and we'll be sure to follow up with you as this Pfizer vaccine develops. Yeah, thank you so much. And keep sending us your questions about the vaccine for 5 to 11 year olds. We're here to help you get answers. Text them to the number you see on your screen.